same amount who helped us to conduct this kind of studies at Anand and from uh, Daily Science College Anand and the Kamdhan University. So I will talk about the hardcore uh, science of the camel milk or the fermented camel milk, uh, that how it helps in managing the diabetes. So I am not going to talk about the introduction as we are running the time behind and we are going to the result which you observe. As uh, people are telling in the morning that camel milk contains around 58.67 insulin in natural compared to the cow and buffalo milk. It is around three, three times more. Okay? Even though after having that kind of insulin, they have insulin like protein also that I will talk about in the next slides. We have started to work in 2014 at our college, SMC College of Daily Science Anand. With, uh, on that time, we did not get the camel milk from Amun, but that this work which I am presenting now, the entire milk is supplied by the Amun Federation. So we have worked on anti-diabetic, anti-hypertensive, and anti-inflammations in vitro studies. We, but it is a fermented one. We have used our lactobacillus culture, as our partner dahi banate hain, as our bacteria se. Wo bacteria humare paas hai. हमने उसको फर्मेंट किया और फर्मेंट करने के बाद हमने जो प्रोटीन की बात कर रहे थे डॉक्टर आगरवाल पेप्टाइड्स वो हैव वर्क ऑन पेप्टिडोमिक्स दैट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पेप्टाइड्स आर देयर व्हिच आर रिस्पांसिबल टू रिड्यूस दिस डायबिटिक प्रॉब्लम्स सो फर्स्ट वी हैव फर्मेंटेड इट देन वी हैव एक्सट्रैक्टेड द पेप्टाइड्स वी हैव सीन द पेप्टाइड प्रोफाइल इन टू एसडीएस स्टेज देन वी हैव प्यूरीफाइड द peptide sequences through 2D and those to purify peptide spots we go for the LCMS through diction digestion method and we have found out the different peptide sequences which are having the anti-diabetic effect. So that what we have published in Amina uh, well, it's a very important journal in September 2020, it's a very recent study we published. Uh, the same kind of work we have also published in International Journal, Journal of Day Technology and uh, Journal of Food Biology. Here also we have sequenced these kind of peptides which are present in the camel milk. Camel milk and the A peptide sequence is a protein. Two proteins are for anti-diabetic effect. Okay? These two peptide sequences are the first time we started in 2014. In India, the Indian reference to camel milk was not a database. CSR, CFPI is a suit. उनके पास भी नहीं था, so we faced a lot of problems in 2014 to match the sequence. Now we have created the peptide sequences from our Indian origin. Now people can use. We have submitted that sequence in the biopen. Now people are using our sequence. It's the Indian origin. Kachi breed camel milk peptide sequence. People are using it. As the study we have done, because you know that. The Federation is also selling the buffalo milk as a A2 milk or buffalo milk. Okay, so we have compared camel milk and buffalo milk through fermentations, and again we have found that camel milk is having a more anti-diabetic effect than the buffalo milk. Okay, so that is another comparison. Another study currently going on in my lab. We are comparing beef cow milk because beef cow milk has a good anti-diabetic effect. Now we are comparing with the camel milk and beef cow milk. That what is going on. So. As Dr. Agarwal was talking about the proteomics, we call it as a peptidomics. So these are the peptide sequences. Basically, when you have a diabetes, your glucose level will be, go high. Some of the enzymes are responsible to break down these uh, substrate like lactose or other carbohydrates, make it glucose higher. So these peptides have the capacity to bind those enzymes like alpha amylase, alpha glucosidase, lipase. So these enzymes, these peptide sequences bind it and your glucose level will be stable. So we have worked on in silico model through computerized systems. We have uh, used these uh, enzymes from the biopet and then we did the molecular docking study. This is called in silico analysis through peptidomics. So these are the different publications from our Kachi breed and Kharai breed that we have collected through federations and now it is publicly available in different journals. They are all highly reputed journals and, and anybody can see the work which we are going at Anand on only camel milk. 
the recent study just we completed 15 days before as Dr. Bhattnagar came to me that you have to speak on camel milk, we are organizing one a camel milk symposium and Dr. Kelawala sir has also encouraged me that you have to present. So immediately we have started to compile the data because just we finished that work. How we did it? We have created a diabetic rat model by giving them a uh, high fat diet and there is one uh, injection streptozoptin. Okay. Then we have uh, grouped those uh, diabetic rat when the blood glucose level is goes more than 200. So we rat ke puri study kiya. Ye total half group hai. First group jo hai normal control hai. Unhe normal jo rat hai uska hai. Group two hai jo diabetic hai. Usko hum diabetes karke chhod diya comparison ke liye. Humne koi camel milk nahi diya, koi drug nahi diya, koi medicine nahi diya. The third one we have created diabetes and then we have given these our uh, medicine to look less than made morphine. Okay. And this four group, group four, five, six, and seven, we have given the camel milk in different formats. Format one is pasteurized milk, pasteurized milk, the pasteurized camel milk, then sterilized milk, which is group five, then powder. Dr. Saxon is very much concerned about the powder, camel milk powder. And the seventh is the camel milk baby. So we have given the camel milk to different groups in different formats. So this is the this is the procedure how we prepare the camel milk dahi. So these are the parameters we have checked during the study. These are the uh, our uh, laboratory work, what we do. So first we have checked the body weight, how this body weight are increasing during this 35 day study. If you compare with the model, it is 221 or normally it is 342. But in our four different groups you can see the pasteurized milk, even in the powder, the weight is compared to the normal is lesser. Then the food intake, if you see that in the powder it is 13 compared to the 21. So powder here is giving the good results. We have measured their body weight at the last day. Model means the diabetic rat. So compared to the uh, model, you can see that all our treatment group, pasteurized milk, sterilized milk, powder and they, they are significantly uh, reduced the body weight compared to the normal as well as the model group also. Water intake also we have at part uh, with at the last week of the study. Then we have measured the fasting glucose level. In the normal it is 71 but if you compare with the model it is diabetic it is 238. But you see the powder as well as the pasteurized milk it is 121. Uh, uh, this is the stainless milk 116. Uh, powder it is 152 and the day is 134. Then we have also measured the fasting glucose level at the last day in 7th uh, week. Again you can see the diabetic uh, group model, the fasting glucose level is more than 250 but in our treatment groups we are getting the significant results. The OZTT oral glucose tolerance test also if you compare with the model what is diabetic uh, group, see the treatment groups is quite significantly reduced in the OZT test. Similar kind of uh, work but in a different format. We have checked the insulin requirement. So in diabetic group, their insulin requirement is quite high compared to the uh, our uh, different treatment groups. But in standard, there, there is less because we have given the uh, drug metformin. But treatment group 4, dahi, you see that the uh, insulin requirement is quite less even after the getting the diabetes. Then HD1C level, hemoglobin A1C level compared to the diabetic model, they as well as the pasteurized milk is giving the promising result. Then cholesterol, we have also checked the lipid profile. Uh, compared to the model, uh, even the dahi as well as the pasteurized milk is giving the best results. Then HDL, the good cholesterol level is higher in the pasteurized milk compared to the other treatment groups uh, when we talk about the uh, standard. Then LDL, the bad cholesterol, uh, you can see that uh, compared to the diabetes, it is significantly reduced. Then triglyceride level also compared to the diabetic one. Uh, we did not find any non significant results. So, in dry insect, we do not say that it is improving. Even in the BLDL, also, we did not find any significant results. Then, aspartate amino transferase test, this is the liver test. You can compare with the diabetic model, the treatment, four different treatments is giving the significant results. For alanine amino transferase, again, we are getting good results for the pasteurized milk, even in the type 4 daily. Catalase, this creates some oxidative stress, 
again we have found uh, promising results compared to the standard also. Then SOD superoxide dismutase compared to the normal, you can see it is at par with the normal, but in model it is quite less. Then uh, reduce the glutathione uh, level compared to the normal, uh, you can see the uh, type 4, this is the is giving the best results, even the pasteurized milk and stylized milk. Then MDA, malignant diabetes, another uh, test for the liver. Then you can compare with the model, the uh, pasteurized milk as well as the dahi uh, is giving the uh, significant reduction of the MDA. We have also done the histotechnology of the intestine. Intestine, there is no so, so much changes in the our pigment groups, but if you compare the diabetes one, you can see the different patches are observed in the uh, intestine, similar for the kidney. The diabetic group is affected more, but in pasteurized milk, uh, they are recovering after creating the diabetes. Then heart also, we did not find any significant result, but in diabetic uh, group, they, they are getting completely uh, uh, disturbed and damaged. In the liver also, uh, compared to the normal, all the different four groups are at par, but in model and standard, uh, it is uh, a bit uh, damaged. In pancreas, uh, the study is already going on because the last one daily we uh, should be doing in a, in a repeated manner. But these five groups we have got it, six groups we have got it. Uh, compared to the normal, our pasteurized milk and stylized milk are giving the best one. But in model you can see the uh, lighter hence is almost absent in, in the diabetic model. We have also checked the fecal microbiota of that uh, rat. If you see the coliform counts are decreasing when we are giving this camel milk uh, after 28 days because we have started after 21 days but this normal and model they are increasing. Lactobacillus counts is higher in T4 because we have given the fermented one but even though T3 and T2 is giving the promising results, Andropocus counts is also decreasing for this T4, T4 means the group giving the fermented one, also the normal group also uh, decreasing the Andropocus counts in the Fecal microbiota. So that was the study we have just finished. But our metagenomic analysis is going on. We can see that as uh, uh, the my previous speaker is talking about, there is a change in the gut microbiota. That is also we are doing in the Sika sample. We can say that which family is more prevalent after diabetes and which means what is kind of dysbiosis is happening after the diabetes that it just will uh, come up within 15 20 days. So camel milk has a powerful effect. In reducing the blood glucose level and insulin uh, requirement and it limits the diabetic complications such as elevated cholesterol level, liver and kidney diseases, decrease the oxidative stress and delete the wound healing. Camel milk is safe and efficient in improving the long term glycemic control and can provide a significant reduction in the dose of insulin required by the type 1 diabetic as Dr. Adarwal was telling. Further studies are required to isolate the actual biopic peptides which we were working in the last 10 years in camel milk that are similar in producing the insulin effect and responsible for reducing the blood glucose level in diabetes in various clinical studies uh, to validate its health plan. And uh, these are the awards, these are the awards we have received when we started in 2014. Even in uh, Silong, the Peritone University, one of our students presented that they received the first prize uh, for the peptides uh, responsible for controlling the diabetes. Uh, and I am very much thankful again our Vice Chancellor sir for always encouraging me to work on this kind of uh, uh, milk because I am mainly working in non-bovine sector, goat, sheep and camel. As I have explained the sheep milk, similar kind of goat and sheep I am working basically Suti breed from goat milk and Panchuli uh, breed of the sheep milk. That a similar kind of work we have because our main aim is to explore the biofunctionalities or medicinal values of the milk so that we can claim it. So we are closely working with the Federation. Dr. Saxena is here. I first met him that this kind of work I have already done, it's giving a promising results. If you help me, then I can go for preclinical studies. Then he said, you come with the paper, I will approach to our MD and MD approved with a single word, yes, we will do it. Now just we finish the work and we are thinking of the clinical studies which on human subjects in the next couple of months or years. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you, thank you Dr. Hathi.